The Ethiopian Minister of Biodiversity was awarded the UNESCO Sultan Kavos Award because of its outstanding uh, accomplishment in combining in situ and ex situ conservation of biological resources. Uh, the conser these conservation methods are complementary to each other and this has been scientifically proved. So by practically implementing uh, on-farm conservation and conservation in cold rooms, we have performed uh, very outstanding uh, uh, activities and we have achieved a lot. And that was one reason for the award. The second reason is the Ethiopian government has put in place legal provisions for conservation and the sustainable utilization of biodiversity, which, which is also very, very unique and exemplary in Africa. The UNESCO uh, Sultan Kabus uh, Award gave us three uh, benefits. One is uh, international recognition. We have got internationally uh, high recognition and that's very uh, help useful for us. The second benefit is uh, to be awarded by uh, the, uh, the Sultan Kabus um, Award Prize is uh, very uh, useful in public awareness raising. So uh, we have used this prize to raise public awareness in Ethiopia and at different levels. And the third benefit is uh, because of that recognition we, and also the monetary benefit, we have been uh, working on certain activities related to environmental protection. And the fourth benefit is the award encouraged us to work more. So these are some of the benefits we got from the award. As uh, Director General of the Ethiopian Institute of Biodiversity Conservation, uh, the practical uh, problem I see in, 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 in natural resource conservation in general and biodiversity conservation in particular is the difficulty in striking the balance between sustainable development and biodiversity conservation. Uh, as developing countries, we need development, we need high tech, we need uh, high yielding varieties and also uh, investment at large scale. On the other hand, we need to conserve our resources. And so the balance of meeting the two and balancing them is one of the practical challenges. And uh, f to mention one example, for example, high yielding varieties are replacing or causing threat to local breeds and high yielding livestock are causing threat to, to uh, local, uh, uh, locally adapted breeds. And this is one of the uh, challenge we are facing. The other challenge is the human capacity to use technology in enhance conservation of natural resources. And the third challenge is the infrastructure, the facilities for conserving our gene pools. These are the challenges that we need to address, but the major one is that balance between natural resource conservation and development. To ensure sustainable development, we have to strike the balance and that, that is what we have to work on and come up with scientific evidence of attaining that.